Hey, what's up guys? Nibbles here. We're gonna be trying a new game today. A bit of The Sims 4. I've not played it in a while, and I just figure, you know, why not? It could be fun. I mean, look at this lady. She is having a whale of a time with her woodworking in her nice dress. Calm down, lady. Okay, so let's... Oh, jeez. Okay, that uh, that's a bit morbid. Let's uh, <laughs> let's get away from that and go create ourselves a person. Melvoy Bebose. Yeah, there we go. This guy seems all right. Stefan. Who do we think this guy's name should be? Caden? No. No. Rashad. Emmanuel. That's perfect. Emmanuel Sampson. Sure. He is a young adult with a nice deep voice that is warm. Ooh, walk style. And party walk. <laughs> oh, wow. I think, yeah, he needs to be a bit of a bouncy walk. You know, he's feeling good. So, oh man, aspiration. Okay, this is important, because this is what this guy's life goals are going to be like. Hmm. Popularity, nature. What do you think, Emmanuel? Are you a lover, not a fighter? Or perhaps you prefer to be the more athletic type? Who knows? Um, I'm thinking, oh, hold on, before we select his aspiration, let's get his look right. Oh, that, that looks nice. That could be a manual. Yeah, he looks like the creative type to me. Like a, yeah, best-selling author. That'll work. Ooh, traits. What's this? Self-assured, romantic, hot-headed. I got hobbies. You could be a uh, foodie. That'd be nice. You know what? Emmanuel looks like he'd be neat. Um, he's definitely not a bro. He's good, but he's not evil either. I mean, let's not go for good. Happy around Sims. Okay, whatever. Non-commitmental. Uh, loner. That's always a good one. Let's see. Oh, here we go. He's in. He's a clean, insane genius. Perfect. Now, is there anything we want to change in the face area? Oh my goodness. What have we here? That is terrifying. I I regret going into that menu. Okay, so we got out our, our traits. Oh. I like the way he looks. Nice green shirt. Maybe, you know, a little buffer? No. A little fatter? A little, yeah, a little chub. There we go. Okay. Mm. I think this is our guy. This is who we're going to play. Emmanuel? Let's get you moved in, buddy. Here we go. I wonder what good neighborhood we're going to choose. Let's see. Can't afford that. Can't afford that. Can't afford that either. How much money do I have? 20 grand down at the bottom. Okay. That's occupied. Occupied. What about this one? This one's good. We'll be right next to the... Uh, Library, the gym, uh, the speaker store, and town hall, I guess. Oh, and also a nice little park. So, And let's see, who do we have as our neighbors? The Streeter family, the Staley family, and the best friends forever. Okay. That's a bit interesting. These are, of course, the mansions. 
Murdoch. Oh my god, I forgot the Goths are still in here. That's like all the way back from Sims 1. That's ridiculous. Okay, let's choose the only house that we can get. Uh, furnished, sure, I guess. I'll have 11 grand left over. Let's get moved in. Let's get moved in. Oh, very sensual music. I'm, I'm liking it. Oh, and of course it just ruins the mood. Okay, here we are. It's a manual in his brand new house. Gotta change some. There we go. Now we can see everything. Let's see. What's it come with? Fully furnished kitchen, a bathroom, a table, a nice living room area, and a bedroom, I think. Good little porch as well. A couple of trees out front. Nice little neighborhood. So let's uh, take care of some of the essentials, shall we? Objects by room. Okay, first of all, we gotta have a bedroom, right? Now, what's the most important thing in the bedroom? Anyone? I'm gonna have to say computer desk and computer itself. Oh geez, I can't even afford that one. Ghost Rider disappearing. What? Oh. Let's go for this one. Middle range. It'll serve our purposes. We'll get a decent little chair. You know, white. Make it all white. There we go. Let's see. Do we have any nice lamps? Oh, okay. I'm thinking Happy Panda all the way. There we go. Now that we got the important things settled out, let's get rid get the uh, less important things out of the way. So we need a bit of bedding. We need some lights. Um, what kind of lights would I have? Oh jeez, these are weird. I don't think I like those. We can have a chandelier. Um, I just want some decent standing lamps. Like, maybe these? We'll go for a... Mm, black lampshade? Sure. Have them in the corners. Next to the bed. Alright. That works for me. Um, do we need anything else? The living room is a bit bare. So let's at least get a cool little couch. This one will match the lamps. So sure. Uh, we don't want a fireplace yet. Do we need a coffee table? How much do we have left? Four grand. Ooh, that looks nice. And everyone can get into the couch from that, I think. Um, ooh, an old Grammy phone. Ooh, a jukebox. Wall speakers. Let's not worry about that stuff. What 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 else could we possibly need? Study. Uh, everyone needs a good book every now and again. So we'll just have a nice contemporary bookshelf. We can read on the couch. We don't need a TV just yet. Because I'm sure Emmanuel is going to want his own things. So, let's see if he enjoys the place. And start. He wants to share some ideas. He wants to talk to himself. We can get that out of the way right now. Easy as that. Oh, man. Brand new neighborhood. What should we do f now that we've gotten the uh, place uh, looking pretty good? We can go try and meet neighbors. Who's that? Who's that? No, stop moving. Uh, call over. Be like, hey! Come say hi to me. I'm lonely. <laughs> Poor Emmanuel. Who is this lady? Why And why can't I get her name to pop up? Here we go. Rhea Newman. Oh! Hudson Arnold? 
Ken Ugh. something. Oh, friendly introduction. Don't go away, Emmanuel. That's rude. You called her over. The least you can do is introduce yourself. She looks like a nice lady. Yeah, so. Yeah, see? So, so. Uh huh. Oh, she's not having no. any of it. Oh, she sounds a bit snobby. She might be a little bit out of your league, Emmanuel. Yeah. Yeah, I like burgers. And video games. Nothing wrong with those. What do you think? Oh my gosh, she's a bit more refined. Um, I'm gonna say goodbye if I can. Oh wait, I did. Did I want to share ideas? Should I share my brilliant ideas? Or oh, where'd it go? Tell a funny story. Missed you, funny, friendly, friendly. Brilliant ideas. Let's try that. Be like, I'm thinking about a blender that'll not only blend your food, but freeze it. Oh, she likes the idea. Totally likes the idea. Oh, he wants to buy a TV now. You don't need a TV, Emmanuel. You got all the entertainment you need right here in this uh, fancy computer device. Let's actually get Emmanuel a job, because if he doesn't have a job, he's just going to spend all of his money on pizza and hot dogs, and he's going to be broke before the night is done. Come on, let's stop talking to Rhea. I'm talking about tanks, sure. I'm sure she appreciates us talking about tanks. Oh, I'm a little hungry. Little need to use a little bathroom break if, eventually. What should I get to eat? Oh, first things first. Yes. Here we go. What do I want to be? He's the creative type. I did say he was going to be somewhat of a journalist, so that the writer career could work, or he could be a business guy, entertainer or a painter. No, no, he's got to go for the writer career, right? Come on. There we go. And hmm, since I am get feeling a bit peckish, I'm recording around the time of the holidays. So if I can, I'm going to pull a Kevin McAllister and just order a nice big cheese pizza all for me. Huh. Oh. And no one else a can touch it. Meatsnay? My pizza's on the way. That's what I like to hear. While we're waiting, we can see if he... What does he want to do? He wants to chat with Rhea again. Or buy a TV. Well, Rhea's gone, Emmanuel. You you missed your shot out there. And then I made you get a job. What are you grabbing a serving of? There Was there something already in the fridge? Oh my gosh, there was already grilled cheese in the fridge from the new tenant. Or from the old tenant, I should say. I am going to not eat that. Because that's probably poison. I'm going to say that's poison. The old owners are trying to poison you, Emmanuel. Just get your pizza from Reese. And go take that bad boy to the kitchen. Set it up right and dig in, my friend. Take a slice. There you go. Why are you going to go? Where are you going? Going to eat on the couch? I guess that's fine. <laughs> I guess the pizza takes up the whole table. So once we're, we're done eating, he's going to have to put it away. Because, come on. You're not a slob, are you? No. Hmm. You're definitely not a slob. You're just going to enjoy yourself, then clean up that pizza, and let's see, tomorrow is actually our day off. Luckily, you don't have to do crap tomorrow. That is awesome. We do need to read books, though. Mmm. 
to improve performance. <laughs> I could make a very bad joke about that, but I'm not going to. So just clean up your pizza, clean up your plates, do what you need to do, Emmanuel, and then once you're done, just read something, anything. Broaden your ideals. Pick up a good book. What are you reading? Crisis Barn. Okay. Not the title I would have chosen, but it does sound like quite the classic. Who are you talking to? Are you talking to yourself again? Or are you talking to the book? Oh, what's that? Will, Kavina Renix, Chop Away. Snapdragon Flowers. I don't know what that is. I have no idea what that is. Half this stuff is really new to me. But I do like how you can zoom all the way in just to see what's going on. You almost done? Oh, he's about halfway done with his book. And then, let's see, it's going to be about 10 o'clock. He does need a bit of sleep. Or he could have another slice of pizza. Or we could try that grilled cheese. I think we should get rid of the grilled cheese. Personally. How can we do that? Grilled cheese. I want you to do something. Oh my god, it's like a whole plate of grilled cheese. And what's that? Eggs and toast? Clean up. You gotta clean up all this stuff. Insane Sims live an emotional roller coaster that is unpredictable. Oh, he wants to dance to some stereo music. We can sort that out. I wonder what his taste in music is. We're gonna find out. Get you a nice little boom box here. To listen to your tunes on. Or do we want this one? Does it matter? Oh no, no, no. That's a bit too garish. A bit too garish for old Emmanuel. Oh, did you already break something, Emmanuel? Oh, I guess he's going to sleep. And then he'll start a brand new day in his, or his first, well, I say first, but it's more like his second day in his new house. Maybe he'll meet some neighbors, maybe he'll finally make his moves on Rhea. Oh, he's very uncomfortable because he wants to chat with Rhea so much, or he has to go potty. One of the two. You know how it goes. You either really want to talk to the lady, or you just got to take a nice big deuce while thinking about your stinky shoes. But, you know, such is life for Emmanuel. Just eating pizzas, talking to ladies, and doing deuces. That's how he rolls.